Hello, let's have a discussion about evolution of technologies. So today we are going to discuss about that how technologies evolve. Like technologies from me, as we are discussing about telecommunications, so we'll discuss about the wireless technologies evolution. So as per the signals, we have analog signals and then we move to the digital signals. That means the very first signals that we have are the analog signals and analog in nature. So we have the first generation of the wireless technology. In first generation of the wireless technology, we have processed the analog signals and trying to forward these analog signals from one end to another end without any wired media. Because what we require, we require wireless communication systems. Now, as per the digital, when we have an era of computers, we move to the digital and we name it as that. This is our second generation of the wireless technologies. So, we require that in second generation, there is a technology and we name it as GSM, as Global System for Mobile Communication. So, this is our second generation and GSM is totally voice. Now, next we require, what we require, we require data. So, we have a next which is 2.5G and we name it as, it is a GPRS, General Packet Radio Service, which is a data technology. After that, but the data rate is very low. So, we require to move to the next, which is our 2.75G, which is edge technology. Enhanced data for GSM evolution because we require increased data rates in the system. So we have a edge technology which is also a data. So combinedly we name it as like GSM, GPRS and edge for voice and data. This is my second generation of the wireless technologies. After that we, we have a third generation which is known as UMTS, Universal Mobile Terrestrial System. Now it is giving us the more data rate as compared to the edge technology and also we have a feature of the video calling in this. Now next we require like after this we keep on increasing the data rate we keep on working together like we have 3.5G which is HSDP high speed downlink packet access high speed uplink packet access. Uh, because we require that there should be fourth generation and fourth generation should support one gigabit per second for stationary users and 100 mbps for high mobility users high mobility users so this is our target of fourth generation we are in 3.75 generation 5 3.5 after that, we have 3.5G and we name it as High Speed Package Access as plus, HSPA plus. Then we start at a point like after 3.75G, we have 3.9G which is also known as 4G LT. Now this is because it is not able to compete with 1 gigabit per second and 100 Mbps but we have 4G LT as the generation. After that, we have 4G, then we exceeded, like we met the expectations of 1 gigabit per second, 100 Mbps. So, this is my LT advance. Now, we have a target of fifth generation, like in fifth generation, what we require 5 gigabit per second. Like this is our target with increased mobility, increased data rate and latency should be very less. So this is our evolution of the wireless technologies like we started from the first generation. We people are currently using 2G and 3G, 4G also and we have set up a target for the fifth generation and which could be commercial in the 2020s. So in each and every technologies like 3G supports these things with increased data rate. Then we have fourth generation LTE advanced. We are moving with the new features to make this thing possible we have 3.9g and then we are proceeding to the 5g so this is our evolution of wireless technology that we have discussed in today's class thank you so much